So I wanted to give you my two cents on painting. And what well, first thing I'll note is, first of all, we're using a semi-gloss. So point, my points on a semi-gloss are, it bounces more light from your house, so it should last longer, and I've seen some indication of that. Um, secondly, it's going to show the character more. So you aren't going to get a straight, you know, this is an old house. It's 100 years old. So you have different coats of paint on. You can't straight scrape everything off. You got, used to be a window in here. They took the window out for some reason when they turned it into apartments probably. So you have a lot of character. The semi-gloss or even the gloss will show those, that character more. You get places where there's old paint, you know, close up, looks pretty cool. It just gives you, it takes away that brand new, what I'll call fake look. But, you know, everybody like, likes what, you know, has their own preferences. So, you know, you have to choose what yours is. So I'm not really for flats. I like the semi-gloss or gloss exterior and interior. Secondly, when you're painting, you want to look out for drips. So these spots where, you know, the little hole you go through and you're pushing paint up in there and then later on it's coming back down. So you got to keep track of that when you kind of like starting. I like starting from the top and working down because then I can look back up and see, did I miss some spots? Is there any drips going on? I can go back up and get them with the lift or however I'm painting. Um, another point is I don't like... Um, rubbing the brush on the side of the can. You get so much buildup in around there and then your lid doesn't seal right and everything else. So I try to keep everything clean. Uh, there is some in the ridge there, but that's because I was painting in the rain the other day and that's protected you know, by the big overhang, but still some water was getting on the cover and when I went put the cover back on. But I like to just dip it in there a little bit, not much. Sometimes a little bit more, but still, no more than that really. Give it a half a twist. Go over. Brush. Also notice I'm really not using a big brush. This is a, what, a two inch? Yeah, about a two inch, I think. And when I'm priming, I've even switched to a one inch brush. I got a, I know some people would say I'm crazy, but the problem with the primer is it's a lot lighter and it drips off easier and I don't like drips all over so I really like keeping it under control um, just a few extra dips you know I'm sure you're dipping the brush a lot more a smaller brush but you know really turn the music on and paint away and really I think it's more controlled to get a better job and less paint going all over so that's my two cents on painting that I can think of right now. So we're going to get back at it and got quite a bit to do yet. I'm almost halfway on this side here on the second coat. Oh, the number of coats, I never, we're never able to do it in one coat. We do a primer. We tint it a lot, about four times more than they would like to tint it at the paint mixing place, but we're persistent and we have them do it. And then we, um, we still, you still need two, three coats. You can see there's some coming through. And so we really like, you know, most of the time we're doing three coats. Now I'm only going to do two on this side right here. This was painted before. We had not let the siding dry enough when we started painting. We had taken the other siding off and it really started to, after I guess six or seven years, there was quite a bit of peeling going on. So I came back through, scraped, primed the peeled areas, and now I'm putting my second coat on here, and most likely that'll be it. Then we're gonna move on to the big house, the main house, the front. We've been still working there, but we're gonna get back at it. 